So far, we've seen the place text tool and linear dimension tool can place annotatable elements. Now we're going to take just a look at some other tools that will place annotatable elements. Here, we're going to use the place note tool to annotate the piping for this drainage plan. In this example, we are tasked with labeling the storm drainage piping. The label will call out the pipe length, diameter, and material type. The project is fairly extensive and this labeling effort will become somewhat repetitive and laborious. Now, in order to get the exact linear footage, I'm going to leverage something that is called a text field. If you're not sure what a text field is, it's MicroStation text based on properties. It could be element properties, model properties, file properties. If these properties ever change, that change will be reflected in the text field. Let's take a look. I'll make the place note tool active. And then I'm going to type something into the text editor. I'll go ahead and type in construct. So this is just normal MicroStation text. I want to come in here and insert a text field. I'm going to base this on element properties. I'll just then need to select the pipe. And as such, this will bring up the fields editor dialog. Here you can see all the element properties of the pipe that I just identified. From here, I'm going to choose the geometric property total length. When I select this, over on the right I have formatting options to select from. So I'm going to select the appropriate label format. Just above the OK button is a preview. It looks good to me so I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Next I'm going to come in here and type some more normal text. LF of. Now I need to insert more text fields. However this time I want to base it on item data. Now we saw that this pipe has general properties and geometric properties, but if we were to take a look further down, we also see something called pipe. You can create something that is called an item type. Item types are user defined properties that can be attached to elements that describe the element. In this case, describing the material and diameter of the pipe. Now, Item data is an instance of an item type attached to an object or element. Once attached to an object, the properties of the item type become properties of the object itself with their own independent values. And you can see that here with the pipe that is selected. So this item data is non-graphical. It's the business data about this element. And as such, we can expose that through a variety of annotation tools. All right, so I'm going to select the diameter property first, and then I'll set the formatting. I'll set the option show label to false, accuracy to zero, and I'll put a custom suffix in here, the double quote, which will represent inches. From here, I can go ahead now and click OK. I'll select the pipe again. I'll select the item type property, concrete. All right, so now I'll click OK and follow that up with typing in the word pipe. One last thing before I place this is I'll enable word wrapping on this note. So here I'm just going to label some of these pipes. Notice how the values change with each pipe that I identify. Now, if I reset, I will lose all this work. What I should do is save this as a text favorite, but that will be the topic for next month's SIG. So I'll wait till then to discuss that with you. So let's take a look at another example. Here in this architectural floor plan, we need to wrap up a task where we are labeling the equipment in the kitchen of this proposed seafood restaurant. 
you can see some of the kitchen equipment ID that has already been placed in this design. They were created using the place label tool. Now, it is important to note that these identifiers are not just static, normal text. Rather, these kitchen equipment have item data. Let's take a closer look. If I were to select the stove here and call up the properties, you'll notice the typical properties such as general properties and geometric properties. But if we were to look a little further down, we also see something called kitchen equipment. Again, this item data is non-graphical. It's the business data about this item. And as such, we can expose that through our annotation tools. So we are going to leverage the place note tool to expose the kitchen equipment ID. We need to set the following options in the tool settings window. For the method, place label with the leader, the cell name, kitchen equipment ID. We'll set the dimension style to equipment label, and we'll enable both toggles relative to association. Coming into the view, we'll begin labeling by snapping to the range and griddle to define the start point of the leader. Now, you may be asking yourself, what is the difference between a note and a label? I will say that they are similar, that they both can have a leader. However, the difference that with a note, it is text like we saw with the drainage piping. A label, on the other hand, is a cell. This particular cell is simple, really. It has a text field that calls upon only one property, the item data for the ID number. Other than that, we just have a shape around that text field. Now you could create your own label cell that has multiple text fields. Of course, this is dynamic. If I adjust the ID number, it will instantly update to reflect that property change. So I'm going to continue by placing IDs for the kitchen equipment. And now I'm going to switch things up a little bit by placing callouts for the kitchen refrigerators. Callouts are without leaders. So with that, all the equipment has now been labeled. If we were to take a look at this, there are quite a few annotatable elements in this design. Let's see what will be influenced if I were to make a change to the annotation scale. Here you can see the annotation scale is set to one to 50. Let's see what happens when I change this to a one to 25. As you can see, there is a lot of annotation on here that reflected that change text, dimensions, cells. So I'm going to set this back to 1 to 50. So this is not the only element types in this design that honor annotation scale. If I were to zoom out, we see over here tables. These tables are annotatable. If I set the annotation scale to 1 to 25, as you can see, the tables resize per that print scale. So I'm going to put this back to 1 to 50. Now we saw that you can expose the business data about an element with place note and place label tools. Well, if you ever worked with tables, you would know that you can create reports. A report definition is a way to extract and present data from a DGN file in tabular format. Reports can be placed as a table as well as exported to Excel or to a CSV file. Here in MicroStation, you can work with this table in a similar manner that you would work with an Excel spreadsheet. As an example of this, I'm going to place a report that I already have created. I'll go ahead and select the Place Table tool. Then from Report. And here from the drop down, you can see I have a kitchen equipment report. I'm going to place this report into the design. And as you can see, this side by side comparison, we have two of the same tables placed. However, the one that I have placed on the right has no formatting to it. 
if I wanted to, I could come in here and select this table and then work with the contextual ribbon tab to modify this table. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.